Okay. What up, everyone? It's your boy. And today, yes, we have another one of these videos, but today is going to be another one of the creepy videos. This is a story about something that happened long, long time ago, but is something that genuinely was creepy. Today's story takes place years ago. I was, I don't know, I wanna say maybe like 12? Like, I was not the age that I am now. Like, I'll tell you that. Definitely more than 10 years ago, like more than a decade. There was this church building and it was a Spanish congregation and then there was also an English congregation. And I remember that the Spanish congregation had services that were like way later than the English congregation did. I wanna say it was a Sunday, but one day after service, I remember it was before the sun was fully down. We were all like outside, it was after service and we were like all talking and chit chatting, blah, blah, blah. And I remember as a kid, I was running around and this parking lot of this church was huge. Like, all right, first of all, the church itself had like a massive lot. So it had, like woods and it had um, just a lot of acres of land and the building itself was pretty big and the parking lot was huge so there was a lot of space and we were out in the parking lot i remember i was just running around with some of our friends uh, and my sister and then we noticed like near the entrance of the church parking lot it was like a little opening i guess you could say like there was an area that you would pull in and then you would I don't even know if this is making sense. I don't even know if I'm a good storyteller, but like, I'm trying my best. Like, can you blame me? Like, it had an extra section before you would go into the main parking lot. Take that as you will. I remember that as we were playing out there, we noticed that there was a car parked, like kind of at the entrance of the parking lot. And so it was way out there and it wasn't near the building where we were, but we did notice it. And it looked like somebody was just sleeping in the car, like someone just sitting in the driver's seat and they had their head uh, laid back. And so we just thought, hey, maybe they're sleeping. Like it's been a long day. Driving is a hard thing. I mean, I didn't know anything about driving, but it is a hard thing. Driving sucks, especially at night. So I was like, it could be anything, honestly. Like they could just be taking a nap. Like we don't know. Let's not be nosy so we went and like we told our parents that there was a car out there and that there was someone just sleeping and they were like okay time went on and then it got really dark right so it was uh i'm gonna make up a time and say it was like eight o'clock but it was definitely dark it was time for us to leave and i remember that we were all getting into our cars and we noticed that that car was still parked there and it was just weird because like the sun had gone down drastically it was, it was just pitch dark now so it was just kind of like weird we were the last ones leaving the church like there was nobody else there and i remember earlier there was this weird incident that had happened during the service where like supposedly some man had entered the church building and he seemed intoxicated or something and he was just really weird like it was just it was just something that had been going around the building so like both of the congregations that were there had heard of this man and like people were just unsure we didn't know if it was connected but we just already were kind of a little weirded out because of that situation that had happened earlier i don't know the details of it but i was a kid anything they told us freaked us out so i remember we get into the car and it's time to leave and so we're driving out of the church parking lot and we get basically to the entrance of the parking lot where this car is pretty much just parked there and when we pull up we see that the person sitting in the driver's seat with her head back is actually a woman it looks like an old woman we're like who is this nobody recognized her I didn't recognize her, my mama didn't recognize her, my daddy didn't recognize her, my sister didn't recognize her, like nobody recognized her. So we're like, maybe she's just some random lady that like fell asleep here, right? I remember that my mom and then some of the other church members that had also stayed with us and that were trying to leave at the same time, they all got out of their cars and they approached the woman's car. And I remember sitting in the car and I'm just like freaking out because I was like, wow, this is, this is like a whole movie scene. Like it would be crazy if this lady just like jolted up and like started screaming, you know, like my mom was just going everywhere. They tap on her window and they tap on her window and they tap on her window and they, they tap on her window. And this woman is not waking up. It was weird and like we didn't know what to do. So everybody was scrambling because they were trying, they weren't trying to break into her car, but they like checked to see if it was unlocked and it was locked. So we were like, what do we do now? They get on the phone, they call 911 and like 15 minutes later, we had an ambulance show up and then like three cop cars and it was crazy. I was like, damn, are we under arrest? Like I didn't even do anything. Like we just reported this. Why are the police here? They came and basically they tried the same thing. They knocked on this woman's window. She was not waking up. We had noticed that she was breathing or at least it looked like she was breathing. At least that's what they told us. 
Because this woman is not responding and the door is locked, I remember that the fireman like pretty much had to break into her car and they had to unlock her car. And even that when they broke the glass, this woman did not wake up. I remember watching as they pretty much took out this woman and they laid her onto a stretcher and they like put her into the ambulance and they were like, okay, you guys can leave. What? What happened? What happened? And after that, I still don't know. I don't know what happened. I had heard rumors like the next throughout the next few weeks that like it was a lady that had, had some sort of medical condition. I heard someone say that she was possessed. Someone said that she hadn't eaten all day. She was actually dead. I, I don't know. Like it just who knows what happened. I mean, I hope she's OK. I hope that, you know, whatever it was that happened that day, it doesn't happen again. And I hope that she's living her life. And. I hope she's still alive because that was like 15 years ago and she was like an old lady. No, but still, like, I hope she's okay. I don't know. It was just, it was just a little weird situation because we didn't, we didn't know. Could it have been related to the guy that had came into the church earlier or was it something else? These are the questions that haunt me. And now they will haunt you too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Um, it's all I have for that particular thing. I'm going to see if I can find some more information. If not, then we're all just going to not ever know what happened. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. You already know what to do. I'll do whatever you want to do. Like, I'm not going to make you do anything. Like, I don't obligate people to do things they don't want to do. But if you don't subscribe, like, I swear, like, I... Yeah, pretty much stop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm having fun with these and I hope you're enjoying them. I have a lot of crazy stuff, creepy stories. Uh, the next creepy story that you guys are gonna be saying is, uh, is really creepy. It's it's the one that I, uh, yeah, it's... Um... <sighs> moral of today's story, I don't know if there was a moral. I mean, if you see someone that needs help, help them. You know, like we noticed that this was a woman that wasn't waking up and so we called 911 and you know, they were able to handle it from there. Otherwise, you know, who knows what would have happened to her. And that's something like honestly that after that whole incident is something that I just kind of carried with me. Like maybe we help save that woman's life in some way. You know, we don't know. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget, all right? Stay golden peoples, party peoples. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I, I don't know, probably this way again. So I'll see you guys in the next video.